Hey guys, here Will of DC with the Fine Brothers. We just got done with our panel. How did you guys like the panel? I think it, you know, I wish there was an op opposing view. Like that, that was something that was missing because I think everybody should have a voice. That's part of transparency. Right, a part of, part of the debate is having somebody debate. The three of us on stage fighting to say the same thing. It would have been fun to also be able to just call them out on everything they're saying because they don't really have merit, but it still would have been good to have them there. Yeah, it, I, you know, the, the, we, we tried to be very diplomatic in how we called people out. And if they were here, I feel like we could have really gotten down and dirty. I feel like you guys were in class. Yeah, I probably would have gone to, to it would have been pay-per-view boxing. <laughs> That would have worked well. We have the, the hard-hitting political side, and then you could just be like, okay, I'm just going to tell you like it is. <laughs> so talking about the panel, we obviously talked a lot. I videotaped the whole thing so people will see highlights. But is there anything we, you felt like that we didn't get to that you wish we would have gotten to? I would say that I think it's because of just the, uh, the space we were in. It wasn't necessarily so YouTube-centric. I think what we didn't talk about is the cheating on a smaller level by YouTube channels and YouTube partners themselves. Like we talked about very broadly about companies and corporations, not the reality that there's some channels that are in the top 100 that completely cheated their way there and explaining that whole system and how there should be accountability for them. I think that is something I would have liked to talk about. The internet is full of fraudulency as I feel like anything that is so Wild West would be. And that's just the way it is and we have to do what we can individually to at least do be our own ethical backbone. And if don't, who cares what they're doing? Do what you're doing as you want to do it. And I understand that YouTube is a giant company. And like you said, they're slow to fix things because one of the biggest things when we when we're able to point out, I think all of us separately point out, hey, this is going on. Can we fix that? And they're like, don't worry about it. It's going to be gone. And yes, they're right. It did. But a few days ago or a week ago, whatever this comes out, it did change. And there's a lot of these people that cheated are never going to be able to cheat that way again. But I wish YouTube would be a bit quicker so that those people that cheated cannot be reaping the benefits for the rest of their life. Right, and be about a bit more open in saying we're slow to fix this, but here we finally listen to your feedback, we finally understand we're fixing this. I, I feel like there should be more YouTube partners employed by YouTube, maybe some contract work of tell us what to do. Consultancy would be, and I think a lot of us would be very interested to help do that because it's a, the benefit to everybody. I mean, because the I mean, YouTube in of itself is a platform that you can use in many different ways. You know, compared to the business aspect and the YouTube community aspect and all the different niches, that there's a lot of voices to be heard and served. And and I you know I think a thing another thing we didn't get to is that you know I think we all believe that YouTube can be more than just an algorithm. That YouTube can be more than an ad site. That you know social justice issues and third world issues and the fact that this year more than ever a spotlight was shown in areas of the world that's never been shown before because of freedom of information and do democracy of technology and things like that so you know those are these are all our philosophical questions of business versus community and we could just be working towards a greater social good which I do think all of us should be doing more yeah, I mean I think we should I think YouTube does a lot of that they just have to you know I, uh, uh, shout outs to Google you've been very nice overlords but I feel more than now the overlords of Google are you know sticking their hand a little you're toiling a little bit right I mean do you do you do you feel that you see Google's influence more now than before I, I think so and I also think that and I think we covered it well on the panel the reality is despite everything we're saying there is no place better than YouTube for transparency they've done everything more than anywhere else and I never would have thought where it came from that it ever could get to this point where we could say as much as all this stuff is going on it is the mo it is the best place to go to know you're actually getting an audience it still is and in no way do I think that they're not aware like there are not, it's not like they are allowing and moving forward to specifically allow forever. I think they're aware and they do. I think it's just, I think there's a lot more that I guess on our, all of our sides, we could be trying to figure out how to be a bit more of a unit to express these things to me as their, as their partners that are doing these panels like this. Any final words? Congratulations on your premium channel. When is that launching? Uh, we should be mar uh, in, March. in March. Yeah, somewhere in March. Just in general, for me, it was it was really fun. Like, I mean, have it, even though we didn't have the specific uh, counterpoint. Yeah. It was, it was really great talking with you on the panel. No, it was awesome talking with you guys, too. I mean, uh, an honor whenever I get to sit on a panel with the Fine Brothers. I mean, you guys have been in the game so long that you've got more information than anybody else. And, and I feel like this is first of many topics. And I feel like behind the scenes, we've talked about this so much. And the fact that it's finally getting public, it's only going to well, benefit... I <laughs> to tube filters, credit, credit. Yes, that that they, that they really brought this into the open, and uh, I hope that it's, you know just the conversation doesn't end here. That it just keeps on growing, and we'll see where we'll see where 2012 takes us. Whole new YouTube. I mean, that's the thing I'm most excited about the homepage is that I felt so boring and bland on YouTube recently. I was like, I need a shakeup. I need a massive shakeup, and this satisfied my need for a massive shakeup. You definitely got a shakeup.
it's totally different. A whole new way to report on things yeah. and how things are gonna, what is gonna blow up and what is not, and what's gonna be a winner, what's gonna be a loser. Yeah. Totally Tune different. Tune into the Will of DC to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Tune into the Fine Brothers and subscribe to them and pin them. How 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 much are we gonna get sick of that in in, in four months or four days, whenever it's gonna be? But check out the Fine Brothers. They're awesome. We had an awesome panel. Thank you guys so much.